Of our more common species, marsh and willow tit probably present one of the most difficult ID challenges. Both are species of conservation concern with declining population levels. Willow tit prefer wet scrub and young woodland, whereas marsh tit is more a bird of mature broadleaf woodland, although there is a lot of overlap. Both species visit gardens and bird feeders. There is one very simple and reliable method of telling the two species apart in the field, by call and song. And to make things easy for us, both call almost constantly throughout the year. In fact, it's very often a call that will alert you to the presence of one of these birds. Both have a variety of calls, but luckily for us, in both cases, it's the commonest call which will clinch the ID. Marsh tits have a very distinctive, explosive, sneeze-like pitchu. They can sometimes extend the call with a DDD, but they always start with a distinctive sneeze. Willow tits, on the other hand, typically call with an extremely nasal che che sound, often preceded by a thinner zz. Neither species is an enthusiastic songster. When the birds do sing, they're often heard very early in the year. Marsh tits sing with a rapid, monotonous, clear chip 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 or chipper chipper chipper. Willow tits have an attractive, piercing choo choo choo, which could in fact be confused with wood warbler song. There is a selection of further sound clips available below this video on the BTO website. If, unfortunately, you encounter one of these birds that is silent, then it is fair to say that you have a serious challenge ahead of you if you wish to be able to identify it. Much has been written on separating marsh and willow tit by visual characteristics, and many of these features, such as cap characteristics, are mentioned in field guides. But as we learn more about these species, we are finding that some well-known features, such as the pale wing patch, for example, of willow tits, is not reliable. Young willow tits, for example, can lack it altogether, and some marsh tits can appear to show it. The best single feature is the apparently reliable presence of a pale spot on the upper mandible nearest the head of marsh tit. Strangely, although this feature can sometimes be hard to see in photographs of marsh tit, always assuming the identification is correct of course, it is surprisingly easy to see in the field if you watch the bird as it moves around. Of course, while looking for this, with any luck, your bird will call. So, if you see a resolutely silent bird with a black crown that extends broadly all the way down to the mantle, warm buff flanks and no pale grey spot on the bill, you are almost certainly looking at a willow tit. It's worth remembering though, with silent birds, there are a good number of individuals that appear to display characteristics of both species. Many of the previous identification criteria we now know from ringing, for example, in fact overlap. And you may have to acknowledge that you have a bird that you cannot identify to species.